you first heard the phrase rock and roll, it seems, uh, some years back, the Everly Brothers were on everybody's uh, tongues, everybody's record players, everybody's uh, everywhere. We're everywhere. They sold millions of records, uh, as you know. Bye Bye Love, Wake Up Little Susie, uh, All I Have to Do is Dream, and so on. They're going to be at Phil I want to call on Monday, May 8th, which doesn't do any good if you're out of town. But if you're here, you can see them there, and if not, you can see them right now. Uh, from their new album, Here Are the Everly Brothers. Ready out. Talking to myself again Wondering if this traveling is good Is there something else to do And if we'd be doing if we could In a museum in Tennessee The name played on the glass Brought back twin melodies And the scratches on the face Told of all the times he fell Singing every story he could tell You must be done. Yes. All right. Have a seat. I know that because you whispered it to yes, me as I you came out here. Knowing you might not know. Well, it's... Uh, oh, can you hold on for just a moment? I think so. After this message from our local stations, we'll be right back. So you're the Everly Brothers, and, and, and you used to be on radio... Wait, don't tell me. I won't. No, I'll be wrong. What was it? KMA. That's right. I did it. That's the, those are the call letters of the station. Shenandoah, That's Iowa. That's right, yeah. It was KMA. I did it, didn't I? You didn't tell me, did no, you? No, we didn't tell you. I'm surprised myself. A little flabbergasted. Actually, well, actually what, well, how important is it that I thought of that? <laughs> but it's sort of interesting. KMA, Shenandoah, yeah. Iowa. The, the first Everly, radio station we the worked Everly in was the Everly family. family. Yeah. There were more of us then. I was over in Nebraska. Lincoln. Listening, yeah. I hope. Yeah, and we used to get uh, on the old crystal set. <laughs> 
than the cat's whisker. Am I wrong, or didn't you guys used to wear tuxedos and have much shorter hair? Uh, only when we had to. No, we wore tuxedos for a while. But the hair was longer. When we first started, in fact, we were wearing tuxedos everywhere when everyone was just wearing kind of suits. <laughs> yeah. And our hair was all combed back the other direction. <laughs> There's yeah. plenty of it, yeah. This was, there was always a lot of hair. Yeah. And you started your careers way back there as kids. 27 years ago. <laughs> yeah. 45? Yeah. Yeah. Did you have normal childhoods? Uh, or were you... <laughs> well, outside of that, we did, you know. Yeah, I mean, but, were, you, were you allowed to have... Uh, we, what we did is, at the time we were doing it, too, and I, we were considered very hillbilly. The word hillbilly was around. I don't have to use yeah. it anymore. Uh, I still occasionally do. Where I'm from, they do. Do they? <laughs> yeah. uh, well, then I, we were considered a hillbilly act. And it, um, uh, we were on radio, and we were uh, before... Uh, we wore cowboy clothes. Yeah, we wore cowboy clothes. We never did figure out why, but we did. Do you remember the Six Fat Dutchman? Not did they too. play your area? No. Yeah, but we, we would have to bus- play a few shoddy shows where whenever there was yeah. dances to be played. I think the Six Fat Dutchmen, I may be wrong, <laughs> were, were, were or are a polka band that used to play I that area. Lawrence Welk the Six Fat mm-hmm. Dutchmen. He had the Six Fat Dutchmen? They all became Lawrence Welk. <laughs> no, no. Oh. <laughs> Florence is trying to help me out. <laughs> <laughs> were, you, well, then, were you old enough to be in World War II? Or? <laughs> no. Just, we were old enough to remember, though. Oh, the, I was I'm seven three, years three. old. And, when we, when we started, it was in 45, now I'm 35. Oh, well, you're, yes. Same age, you. You're, right? you're merely infants. Say, what was the story that I heard about you? I don't know if you want to talk about it. Uh, that one of you got, had a drug problem at one point? <laughs> is, it, is this something you'd rather I had? Do I look like I had one? <laughs> I don't know who to turn it to. Oh, no, well, actually, in the 60s, see, we've been through the 50s, the 60s, and now the 70s are going to end up on us. Mm-hmm. In the 60s, it, uh, here in New York, it became very fashionable to go to a speed doctor to, uh, I don't know, I think probably you know of the I, that uh, various kind of doctor that does exist in, in, in uh, New York City. So yeah, this thing the, has come out in recent year. There was an article once about yeah. it called Dr. Feelgood. About yeah, a Dr. Number Feelgood's of right. They, you know, and it starts off with B1, 12, whatever it is, and then soon you get this whole rush and you know pretty soon it becomes a very heavy trip mm-hmm. and uh, it's speed and uh, spent about three years off and on you did yeah and they don't the doctor did not tell you what you were getting it, or did you not know what it meant well in the beginning you know uh you do you find it catch on i mean it, you I mean it had to be really stupid you yeah. know to figure that you were awake for three days you know on b12 simple but and it and at that point they didn't consider amphetamines as addictive which uh-huh. i think they straight out addicting you know drug how did you how did you break these just quit i was either it was to the point that it was either uh no longer really landed. i didn't like the, the way i was living i mean doctors yeah. in new york are and much so, heavier than you think though because they it's there's not this uh, whole industry at that particular period of time was was a lot of that going around all the way up until you put it. It didn't some, seem like yeah. such an unusual Very thing to do one. either at that, at that time. Yeah. But, you know, to uh, to uh, go to one of these doctors. Did you ever confront him with this? Yes, I would tell him, please don't send me anymore. I'm, I'm hooked. And uh, I think they like the feeling of power. What are you doing, going in for injections or yeah. people are getting pills? Injections. And then it becomes that you can do it yourself. Mm. Handy with the needle. Yeah. I was reading a story. Uh, he must have gone to the same doctor, Johnny Mathis. Yeah, I think so. And he was so addicted, uh, mm-hmm. some doctor here in New York, and he just got so he couldn't go on stage without. Eight. He got to that point with me at uh, uh, year 1964, 63, long time ago, and uh, I feel thank- thankful that I'm out of it. You might have gone over the brink. It could have, very easily. I just want to just grab the guy by the neck and say, I, what, what are you doing? I, been, I, I think Gary, that uh, this, this day is coming. Mm. Well, there were a number of them, and, and when New York Magazine did this article about him, uh, I think a couple of them sort of dropped out of sight. Uh, they had the goods on one man who had killed a patient, and it was fairly clear that he had. I'm quite clear. Yes. And... Uh, I, I never heard a follow-up on it. It's one of those frustrating things you know, you read about something and you don't I really know what happened. I saw a national magazine that did the article on a lot of, uh, of them, 
And I wasn't even aware of it. I even got out of it to the point that I didn't even wasn't aware that they were still doing it. Was your man in that article, do you think? Yes. Could you tell definitely, from that? Yeah, he was definitely in there. Yeah. Uh, That's a drug problem. It's part of it. Yeah. Part of it. Wow. Uh, we'll be right back. Here are the Everly Brothers again singing what? The brand new Tennessee Waltz. The brand new Tennessee Waltz, of course. <laughs> My, but you have a pretty face You favor a girl that I knew I imagine that she's still in Tennessee And by God, I should be there too I've a sadness too sad to be true When I leave it'll be like I found your love Descending Victorian stairs I'm feeling like Popular guests I've ever had on David Niven will be back. Joan Hackett, Billy Eckstein, John Marley, 
And can you get a quick shot, Art, of these two faces? Do you know the incredible resemblance between you two? I, was the one I don't know if it shows so much office. here. Yeah, he was the R11 child. Yeah. And she said, we don't want him. Is there a missing Henderson uh, anywhere? I know. Yeah. I don't know if it shows so much right and now, but it did. You could, be, you could be brother and sister. Everly. Where, where are you playing?